Hey, did you know there are actual policemen that protect wildlife? Come on, let's find out. Hi there. Hello. Nice to meet you. How are you doing today? Good. Well, excellent. My name is Mike McMenamin. I'm with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. I'm a federal officer here at the National Wildlife Refuge. Do you want to go for a quick ride and I'll show you around the refuge? Yeah, sure. Oh, excellent. All right, let's hop in my truck here. Okay. Well, up. Excellent. There's a lot of equipment here. What is it used for? Well, Andrew, in my line of work, we do a lot of normal police work. This computer allows me to access my email or um, do criminal background checks. And then we also have police radios where we can call in if we need assistance with something. What do you use like the guns for? They're just another tool that we have in case we have to protect someone else or ourselves. It's just like any other police agency. Okay, sounds cool. What else do you do? We do a lot of different work. We can uh, enforce regulations here on the refuge. And um, there's actually an angler right over there. We'll do a, a fishing compliance check, okay? Okay. Hi there, good morning. I noticed that you're fishing here. Do you happen to have your license handy? I do. Here you are, sir. Excellent, okay. Why do people need a Pennsylvania license to fish? It's just like hunting, it's a regulated activity. If it was unregulated and folks could come out and take as many fish as they wanted, there would be no fish left for other people. Like say if they catch a big fish, would mm -hmm. they throw it back in? They can't, and that's a really good question. You can't control what fish bite onto your hook and which ones you catch. If it's a species that you can't keep, you can then release that, that fish. They call it catch and release. Can you at least take a picture of it? You can take a picture of it, definitely, absolutely. So tell me a little bit about yourself. When did you decide to go into this career? Well, you know, Andrew, as a kid, I was always outgoing, always into the outdoors. Um, if you'd ask my parents, they'd probably tell you I was always outside as a kid. You know, always trying to catch little salamanders and earthworms. Whether it's fly fishing or kayaking, you just couldn't keep me inside. And um, I always kind of saw myself when I grew up as either being a biologist or in law enforcement. Through college, I studied environmental studies, wildlife management biology, and I also took courses in criminology as well. So are you a cop or a biologist? My official position is a federal wildlife officer. We're conservation officers. We can write tickets or, I mean, depending on the severity of the case, uh, we do have arrest authority as well. But then we also do the game warden aspect of it, where we enforce the Endangered Species Act, Golden Eagle and Bald Eagle Protection Act, and the National Wildlife Refuge Administration Act. What would you do if someone's trying to harm an animal? I like to explain the rules and regulations that are in place. And a lot of times that can be enough to make them think, you know, twice and, and realize what they're doing is wrong. So if someone's putting you in harm, what would you use first, the gun or the taser? Definitely, you're going to use your less lethal force. A lot of times you can de-escalate the situation and never have to go to a taser or deadly force like the firearm, where your life is in immediate danger or the life of somebody else. So tell me, uh, what is the best thing about your job? I think the best thing about my job is just doing something different every day. It might be kayaking, patrolling boundary, or being able to interact with the public every day, or flying on a helicopter during a search and rescue. Our job varies so much on a day-to-day -day basis that you never get bored doing it. Uh, what are the challenges in your job? Trying to be prepared for everything because serious incidents generally happen when you least expect it, but your training really prepares you for anything you might encounter. What was the training like? I first started off at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center where I went through the Land Management Police Training course. From there, you go to Wildlife Refuge Officer School. And once you complete that, you go through field training. So it's a real rigorous training. So do you need a college degree, like a science degree or a biology degree? To qualify as a federal wildlife officer, you're not required to have a degree, 
but the degrees that most of the officers that are entering with our agency will have is either criminology, criminal justice, or a background in biology. With the right blend of field experience, that can definitely give you that competitive edge for a position like this. So for someone that is like in high school, what could they be doing now to get into this? What I would recommend doing is definitely get out volunteer. I actually volunteered at the refuge that we're at right here, at the John Hines National Wildlife Refuge. That led into an internship and then uh, started seasonally. All right, Andrew, this is the spot that we're gonna set up the trail camera. These trail cameras are amazing. There are eyes and ears 24 seven of what's going on in some of these closed areas. Make sure all the settings are right. So Andrew, do you see yourself maybe being interested in a position such as law enforcement on a National Wildlife Refuge? Yeah, it does seem like a nice thing. Well, Andrew, it was very nice to meet you today. It was nice to meet you too. Hey, have a great day, okay? You too. Bye-bye. Thank you.